Today, we're digging into something new from Google called Opal, and it comes with this massive promise. What if you could build an AI app, a real one, just by describing it, you know, in plain English? Yeah, this quote really nails it. Google just dropped something crazy, an AI tool that lets you build apps without coding. I mean, that's a huge claim, right? So let's break down exactly what that means and if it lives up to the hype. So the tool's called Opal, and the part that's really making everyone's ears perk up, especially since it's still experimental, the price tag, or, well, the lack of one. Right now, it is completely free to use. Okay, so that immediately brings up two really big questions, doesn't it? First, does this thing actually work? And second, and maybe more importantly, what does this actually mean for you? All right, first things first, let's get a handle on the basics. What is Google Opal? So at its heart, Opal is an experimental tool straight out of Google Labs. But you can forget all the complex code, all the confusing interfaces. Its entire reason for existing is to build real working apps from just simple descriptions. You literally just tell it what you want and it builds the thing for you. So how does it pull this off? Well, it's all powered by Google's Gemini AI. That's the brain that interprets your ideas. But here's the really cool part, the output. It doesn't just spit out a finished app, no. It creates a visual workflow, like a map of the app's logic that you can actually go in and edit. And then when you're happy with it, boom, you get a shareable link just like that. And this is what makes it a total game changer. Let's talk about the no code difference and why this feels so new. This chart really lays it out perfectly. Think about traditional app builders. They make you learn their system, right? All those drag and drop menus, all their specific rules. Opal just flips that completely on its head. It adapts to your language, the way you speak, to build that workflow. It's a totally different way of thinking. And honestly, that visual flowchart might be the most powerful part of the whole thing. You're not just getting some mysterious black box app where you don't know how it works. You get to see the whole map, step by step. It's like looking under the hood. It just demystifies the entire process and puts you, not the tool, in control. Okay, enough theory. Theory's great, but seeing is believing, right? Let's dive into some actual real-world AI apps that people have built with Opal. First up, let's talk about something pretty much all of us have struggled with, making a decent travel plan. Check out this custom travel planner. Just look at the difference here. The input is so simple, it's almost funny. Paris, September 2025, that's it. But look at the output. It's an absolute powerhouse. You get a detailed itinerary with actual events, a weather forecast, a list of not just the major attractions, but hidden gems too. All of that from just three words. It's incredible. Okay, let's try another one, just to show how versatile this thing is. How about an instant recipe generator? So again, the input is just what you have lying around in the fridge. Chicken, carrots, and rice. And in return, Opal doesn't just give you one lazy idea. No, it generates three totally different recipes, complete with cooking instructions and even nutritional info. This is a genuinely useful tool you could literally build in minutes. All right, for our last example, let's look at something with a direct business use. This one is for all the small business owners and marketers out there, the social media creator. I mean, for anyone running a business, this is just pure gold. It's all about efficiency. You can just feed it a simple prompt, like Instagram posts for Bean and Mellow Cafe, and look what you get back. Three professional posts, captions about daily specials, trending hashtags, even ideas for the visuals. It's basically automating your creative brainstorming session. Okay, so you've seen what it can do. Pretty impressive, right? Now, let's switch gears from just showing you what's possible to actually doing it. Let's talk about how you can get started. Seriously. Getting your first app up and running is just four simple steps. First, head over to Google Labs and sign in. Second, just describe your app idea. Third, tweak that visual workflow it creates for you. And fourth, share it with the world using a simple link. That's it. Now, before you rush off to try it, just a quick heads up on a few things. Right now, it's only available in the US. And remember, it's an experimental beta, so you might run into a few little quirks here and there. But the best part? All you need is a regular Google account. No credit card, no funny business. All right, for this last part, let's zoom way out. Let's talk about the bigger picture here because this is about more than just a cool new tool. Let's talk about why this really, really matters. And this is the absolute core idea, the thing you have to understand about why Opal is so important. This isn't just an app builder, it's a system builder. 
I want you to think about all those repetitive tasks you do every day. Writing emails, creating content, crunching data. This tool lets you turn all of that into automated systems that your whole business can use. This quote really puts the opportunity into perspective. The businesses that thrive will be the ones that embrace these new capabilities early. It's simple, really. The big advantage goes to the people who figure this stuff out now, before it's everywhere. When you boil it all down, what we're looking at is a massive shift in who gets to build things. This is pointing to a future where anyone, and I mean anyone, no matter their tech background, can build their own AI-powered tools to solve whatever specific problems they have. And that really leaves us with one last powerful question to chew on. Look, the question isn't if tools like this are going to change your industry. That's a given. The only real question is, will you be ready when they do?